What's the drawback when, you know, we've got a space program that has that systematically sort of excluded women, you know, back in the 50s, 60s, 70s? What's the drawback when we do that now in society, when we sort of forget about the inherent diversity as we're moving forward? And how do we make sure everybody's at the table? How do we make sure the Katherine Johnsons and the other women in the back room are now at the table with us as we move forward? Because the danger when we look at data science is that data models can, then, can also perpetuate bias that can be baked into the data that we use to build the model off of, right? So it's important to have all those perspectives at the table. Here's an example. Some years ago, uh, Nokia uh, came up with a camera that would try to determine if you were blinking or not, right? So it would take a picture, and if it thought you were blinking, it'd say, hey, did someone blink? Maybe you want to retake this picture, right? So um, in, in this article, a son had gotten the camera for his mom, and he noticed that every time he took a picture of her, it kept asking, did someone blink? Did someone blink? And so the issue was a data issue. When they were building the algorithm, the way that we build a modeling algorithm, we have to train it on data. And so we give it images of like, all these eyes are open, all these eyes are closed, so I want you to learn how to read open and closed eyes, right? And so then the model is learning, it's looking at all these pictures that we've already sorted and classified. And so then we have to test the model. So we give it some data to test on, right? Here are some eyes, we don't know whether they're open or closed, and we want the algorithm to tell us, right? So it's sorting people into open and closed. And that tends to work, except if you don't train your algorithm on a diverse set of eyes, if you don't give it enough Asian eyes to look at, to train on, then it's going to flag Asian eyes as closed when actually they're open, right, because of the slant. So it's important to have those uh, folks at the table so that we don't produce a product that, that inadvertently discriminates right, or prejudices a certain feature of a face. Machine learning can also perpetuate bias when it's asked questions like, um, who's likely to commit another crime? Right? Recidivism algorithms sometimes uh, perpetuate bias, or who's eligible for same-day delivery? Right? Often these decisions are made by algorithms, and so we have to be thoughtful about how we train our algorithms so that these are equitable. 